well, 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 oh Lord, oh Lord, can I get an amen, y'all? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen, choir? Can I get an amen? Well, the verdict is in. The judge in this case, Talik Ibn Ra versus uh, Alberta Parish, the verdict decision has been made. And the verdict is, the decision is, drum roll please. Brrr, ping. The verdict is, it's a draw. The presiding judge decided to go easy and just say this is a Squash. This is a this is an equal judgment. He is saying that I was defamed. He is saying that they were defamed. Now for me I win regardless. It doesn't make any difference. And the decision is fine. <laughs> the decision is fine with me. I'm always smiling. It does not bother me because I win in a different kind of way. Winning doesn't necessarily mean you go to court and you win a lot of money or, or whatever. You can win in other ways. Now, I don't necessarily like the judgment, of course. I'm going to be honest. This, this judge did not allow me to present my case the way it should have been presented. But that's fine. I, I didn't really care. I win because these persons came to court not you two. They came to court. And even in the verdict itself. Called them liars. They defamed me. Now. I'm accused of the same thing. But the difference between. Them and me. I never denied calling. Her doo doo lady. Whatever I did. I confess, no big deal. So that's the difference between them and me. I did not defame. Now, technically, now if I really wanted to, I could really, there's options that I have. I could actually keep keep this going a, a little bit. But I, I'm fine with the decision. It's no big deal to me because I won. I won. How, hey, br brother, brother, how did you win? How did you win when the judge say that they defame you, you defame them? How, 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 goodness gracious, brother, how did you win? I won because this decision made them sweat because they really don't know how this was going. And then they know. That the only thing that the judge really was taking serious out of all of it was the pedophile claim. And in response, she took down all her videos. I don't see none of them. Took down all the claim that I was a pedophile, all this nonsense. I win because poor chop came to court as a witness and I don't know how 
Alberta is looking at her now, but she proved herself a liar. You have been believing in a liar all this time. Told you this woman was a liar. But you have to blame yourself because you didn't ask for no kind of proof. You didn't ask for no kind of evidence because you're so mad and upset and angry. I win because I'm still running my mouth. And they went silent. They don't want to talk about it. Let it go. Leave it alone. Should have done that long time. You should have done it last year. We was done. We declared on our platform we want to go into the new year positive and inspirational. After the purge comes the healing. Oh no, but can you have can you let us have peace? No. Chased us into 2022. Then you went silent, right? They went silent. Came back beefing with somebody else and bring me back into the crap all over again because that fat pig don't have a YouTube channel, don't have a following. Nobody's listening to the fat pig. So they use you to try to get to me and look at the result. I'm fine and happy. Every, every, no, I did not win. Money, a judgment like that. I did not know. But we win differently. And we are vindicated. How are you vindicated? We are vindicated. Because all these things That was slung at us. All these trolls in their big ass mouth. Everybody. Quiet. You know why you quiet? Because you feel dumb. And that's what's wrong with soul brothers and sisters in this country. We get in our emotion and when you become emotional there's no proper thinking this should not have happened but we was talking about sister Noble and her accusatory behaviors because she gets emotional and she even told me about she can't control her emotions and I told you that's going to cause you problems so you've lost a real good friend. You lost real good support. You wouldn't even listen to your own religious teaching. You stopped talking about Jesus, talking about me, Black Son, and Nandy. What the hell happened to Jesus Christ? And the pig, this vile, profane, child abuser, rapist woman that you befriended. Oh yes, she raped me. I did not want that hog. She even told you I didn't want her. Didn't want her. Taking advantage of somebody when they're when they're doing bad in life. Even when we lose, we win. We've been winning from the very beginning. The court is the frosting on the cake. Now I could make, make them sweat some more because there's options. Not only court, but there's other things that I've been thinking about I could do if you want to continue to be foolish and want to be silly. You finally realize that you can really lose something. How do I win? I win all those suckers. See, these people 
didn't give a damn about you. You was just a show. You was just a show for them. Drama. And the main thing is that they had a hatred for Angel Snup No. 7 because of what this ministry puts out. How we talk about Pan-Africanism. How we talk about the Negro in general. How we talk about spirituality and religion. They don't like how I say things. So this was their opportunity to try to get me. Thirteen people, including Sanetta and Nepal, come together to try to destroy Angel Snuff Number Seven, and you all failed. All of you look stupid. And dumb. Because you fall for somebody's crocodile tears. You don't think. You don't sit back in the cut and watch and study and listen. Matter of fact, it's none of your business. But you see drama and you pick a side and now you feel dumb as hell. And you really don't like this video. All of you lost. Didn't you get the memo? Terry, Terry did, did Apparently they didn't get the memo Didn't y'all get the memo Didn't you read the history Study the history of Angel Snow No. 7 Didn't you get the memo I am the most powerful voice on social media We bring reality We bring the facts to the best of our ability. Your fantasy, your fictions, your delusions, your fairy tales, you cannot stand up. You cannot challenge us. Your best bet is to avoid us like the plague. But you decided, I ain't scared of you. And look where it got you. Because you didn't believe. You believe now. A whole lot of folks believe now. If you're going to come after Angel Snub Number 7, you got to come correct. You got to be right. And you don't have to come after me because I will. Because I will say I was wrong. There's nothing wrong with saying I was wrong. There's nothing wrong with saying I'm in error. I made a mistake. There's nothing wrong with saying I apologize. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to force me. To confess to something I did not do. It's not going to happen. The Missouri Department of Mental Health. Failed. They, they could not force me. To confess to something I did not do. What make you think the hell that you going to do it? Because of some pitiful. YouTube faces ass trolls. Looking for drama. And now they all gone. Because they feel stupid. What, where they at? Where, where all these folks in their big mouth? Where they at? So I win. We win here. The judge's ruling don't mean nothing. It don't make any difference how it went. We win. If you don't mean Angel Snuffing Up 7 no good, your best bet, just leave me the hell alone. Go on about your business. So I did enjoy the little court thing. I, I really missed the excitement and of it. See, you didn't see what happened in the courtroom and what went down. There's a reason why they went silent. And sometimes silence is golden. Peace.